Welcome to St. Matthew's United Methodist Church in Bowie, Maryland. This is our simple prayer service for August 18th, the Wednesday of the 12th week after Pentecost. Please join me for Lucinarium. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and good to thank you, O God. You are without beginning and without end. Through Christ, you created the whole world. Through Christ, you, preserved. you made the day of light and the night for the refreshment of our minds and bodies. Keep us now in Christ. Grant us a peaceful evening, a night free from sin, and bring us at last to eternal life. Blessed be God, God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join us in our hymn, The Day is Past and Over. letter to the Ephesians. Be careful then how you live, not as unwise people, but as wise, making the most of the time because the days are evil. So do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit as you sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs amongst yourselves singing and making melody to the Lord in your hearts, giving thanks to God the Father at all times and for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Please join me in the congregational response of Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, I seek refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me. 
Incline your ear to me, rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. You are indeed my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Into your hands I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me through your steadfast love. And this evening's gospel reading is from the Gospel of Mark. Now when the Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around him, they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with defiled hands, that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they thoroughly wash their hands, thus observing the tradition of the elders. And they do not eat anything from the market unless they wash it, and there are also many other traditions that they observe, the washing of cups, pots, and bronze kettles. So the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? He said to them, Isaiah prophesied rightly about you hypocrites, and it is written, this people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching human precepts as doctrines. You abandon the commandment of God and hold to human tradition. Then he called the crowd again and said to them, Listen to me, all of you, and understand. There is nothing outside a person that by going in can defile, but the things that come out are what defile. For it is from within, from the human heart, that evil intentions come, fornication, theft, murder, adultery, avarice, wickedness, deceit, licentiousness, envy, slander, pride, folly. All these evil things come from within, and they defile a person. The Gospel of the Lord. Blaise Pascal died on the 19th of August in the year 1662. He was a French mathematician, physicist, inventor, philosopher, writer, and theologian. He was a child prodigy. Like his contemporary René Descartes, he was to be a major influence in physics and philosophy, as well as religion. His prose writing has been praised as the most perfect French ever written, and his thought has influenced almost every field of intellectual pursuit, even today. Incidentally, he was the first person to provide and develop a system of public transportation for Paris. Perhaps his most read book today is the unfinished book published posthumously known as Pensée or Thoughts from the writings of Blaise Pascal. There is a God-shaped vacuum in the heart of every person, which cannot be filled by any created thing, but only by God, the creator, made known through Jesus. Love knows no limit to its endurance, no end to its trust, 
no fading of its hope. It can outlast anything. Love still stands when all else has fallen. Truth is so obscure in these times and falsehood so established that unless we love the truth, we cannot know it. Do not try to add years to your life. Better to add life to your years. In difficult times, carry something beautiful in your heart. We must learn our limits. We are all something, but none of us is everything. Once your soul has been enlarged, it can never return to its original size. Lord, help me to do great things as if they were little, since I do them with your power, and little things as though they were great, since I do them in your name. Join us in prayers of the people. God of compassion and love, you attend to our prayers and show us your mercy day after day. And so we confidently make these petitions before you. Give wisdom, discretion, and courage to all those in positions of leadership. Lord, in your love, hear our prayer. Help your church be a voice for the poor and suffering, for refugees and all those oppressed, for those suffering in Afghanistan. Lord, in your love, hear our prayer. 
Send your help to all those who suffer from natural disasters, wildfires, excessive heat, earthquake, flooding, and violent storms. Lord, in your love, hear our prayer. Open our eyes to the beauty of the world around us and help us be wise in our care for the earth. Lord, in your love, hear our prayer. Give patience, love, and creativity to all those who teach. Lord, in your love, hear our prayer. Bestow gifts of wisdom and compassion on hospice workers, hospital personnel, and all those who do research or work in the medical professions. Lord, in your love, hear our prayer. Welcome into your loving embrace, all those who have died. Lord, in your love, hear our prayer. Gathering all our prayers into one, we pray in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Please join us in our closing prayer. O God of life, this night, take not thy light from us. O God of life, this night, close not thy gladness to our sight. O God of life, be our song in the night. O God of life, Hold all your people in the arms of your love. O God of life, be light in their darkness, hope in their distress, calm in their anxiety. May this place be blessed by thee this night, O God, and may all this world be at peace in thy love and grace. In the name of the holy and undivided Trinity, we pray. Amen. Let us prepare for the benediction. Go forth as doers of the word, not forgetting what you have heard. And as the scripture has promised, you will be blessed in your doing. Amen.